Helen Wynn starts almost every day like this. The first to arrive, and often the last to leave, her Vietnamese restaurant near Chinatown in New York City. It's been that way nearly every day since Saigon Social opened on March 13, 2020, a day many of us will never forget. Americans in retreat tonight seeking isolation in the face of the coronavirus. The 13th was supposed to be our grand opening and just didn't feel right. It's like, hey, look, I, I think we need to cancel this. And then it was one day turned into three, turned into like a whole week. And I think it was at the end of that first week when I realized that there might not be an end to this. On top of the lockdown and empty streets, a rash of anti-Asian racism across the country, making it especially challenging for Asian restaurants. According to credit card data, spending at restaurants across New York City dropped by 85% during the height of the pandemic. But in Chinatown, it went down 96%. This is one of the restaurants that hasn't reopened since the pandemic. Wellington Chen is the executive director of the New York City Chinatown Business Improvement District. He says of the 300 restaurants in the neighborhood, only 29 remained open. He says what happened here was reflected in Asian business enclaves nationwide. People associate with us wearing the mask as being the virus carrier. With no in-person diners, Helen operated Saigon Social at a loss for months, serving takeout through a window often running it completely by herself, even sleeping at the restaurant. I found a lot of comfort in just staying here and cooking. I just didn't want to leave. <laughs> I didn't want to go home because I wasn't really sure which direction it was heading. How close did you come to closing your doors? Oh, I think that it almost felt like every day. I just knew that I needed to be here because it was the only thing that was comforting me at the time. She found the grit to keep going by giving back. She partnered with nonprofit groups Heart of Dinner and Feed Forward to serve free meals to the elderly in the neighborhood, people who struggled to safely get food. Finally, last summer, a break from the virus, a return to indoor dining and profits. Then Omicron hit. The most dominant COVID strain in the U.S. It wasn't just the initial shutdown. You had to shut down a second time. Yes, that was very painful. On the verge of shutting down, Helen shrunk her staff and switched back to takeout until finally Omicron waned. She says Saigon Social is now turning a small profit. She has a staff of 17, open for dinner seven nights a week. Her favorite part of the job, interacting with diners and seeing their faces when they try the food. Do you like mushrooms? Yeah. Yes, then you should probably do our steam rice roll. What have you learned from this experience? You definitely cannot do it alone. <laughs> and businesses are coming together. This place has great uh, rice noodle. Chen says Chinatown now has 294 open restaurants. What can people do to support the businesses and restaurants here? Have dialogues, have a better understanding, treat it as though this is our fellow human being. I have no doubt that this community, including New York, will come back. She has been through so much. Just days after that interview we did with Helen, another setback. There was a kitchen fire oh, at oh, the restaurant. Geez. It was unbelievable. No one was hurt, but she persevered. She reopened a month later. Things are going well. She's actually launching a new brunch menu this weekend. She was only open for dinners Monday through Friday, but now mm -hmm. she's bringing brunch back. So it's a sign things are picking up. Yeah. yeah. Well, as consumers, uh, what, what can folks do to help their, their local restaurants? You know, we're so tempted to order using the apps on yeah. our phone because mm -hmm. it's convenient, but really try to call the restaurant directly. Those delivery apps take a big chunk yep. of mm -hmm. the, the profits. Or if the restaurant itself has an app, order through the restaurant. That's one small way that makes a big difference for the bottom line of these restaurants. And to point out just how good she is, you said she's a James Beard uh, nominee. Right. She was a finalist. A finalist. Absolutely. <laughs> through the pandemic, through all of this adversity. I'm hoping that that was it. And yeah. the rest will be That's like... Right. i got to get down there and eat that food. Yeah. 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 So Great. good. Another right. way we can help yep. restaurants. Yeah. Let's not be just, cheap on the tips. Yeah. 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 Amen to that. Right. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.